Okay, I'm here at TechSmith and we're with... Katie Lewis. Katie Lewis of uh, TechSmith and we're going to talk about Jing, specifically Jing Pro, which was just out, right? That's right. We released it, we launched it on Tuesday. And Jing Pro is $15 a year, so it's a, a, a yearly subscription. And with that, um, Jing Pro allows you to record video in MPEG format, um, which is really nice. Free Jing is Swift. And with the MPEG format, you're going to get HD quality video, um, most of the time smaller file size. And it, we also have a YouTube output button, so you can send your video straight to YouTube. And in addition, uh, Jing Pro also allows you to have unbranded videos. So with Free Jing, there's some Jing branding on there. With Jing Pro, the, the branding is removed. Yeah. So Just to difference. remind viewers, Jing is one of the easiest to use screencasting software. It lives on the corner of your computer, as you can see right over there. Anytime you can just invoke it. So let's see what Jing Pro does. So I'm going to do a quick capture here. I'll choose an area of the screen. And I'll do a quick video. And just like Free Jing, it's going to give you a countdown. You can record audio and start your recording. And it's great for recording quick tutorials on how to do things on your computer or if you want to do a quick blog post um, or show, you know I use it a lot to, to chat with my co-workers give them some feedback on design design issues and that kind of thing so you, you do your video recording so I'm just gonna you get the idea I'm just gonna stop this recording down here okay yeah, Dan. Yeah, Dan the man. And once it's done, as you but can see with Jing Pro here, we've he got this YouTube logo. So you can, you can go straight to YouTube if you want. Um, you can still save. You can customize all your buttons. So if you have your own FTP server you want to set up, you can do that. You can still go to Screencast. And I'm gonna I'm gonna play this back. It's going to be people listening. Oh, and start your recording. I'm going to mute it so that it doesn't get too bad. Yeah, it looks good. And at the end, with Pro, it feels like based on the level of feedback. With Pro, this branding is removed and it just has that replay button. We have the branding in there. Can you put your own branding? At this time, you cannot. That's a feature request we've heard and we're still developing Jing, so that's that's a possibility in the future. But at this time, you cannot put your own branding in. One thing about about it is that with the, I mean the YouTube feature is cool, just one click and goes up there. That's right. Um, but with the MPEG4 export, this means you can easily make a video podcast as well. Exactly, yep. So when you, so when you have this file in MPEG format, you can bring that video into a video editor that takes that format if you want. Um, there's, you know, with MPEG, there's a lot more you can do with those videos for sure. Great. Yeah. Alright. Yep. Thanks a lot. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, bye.